Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. As you can see, this is my monitor screen and uh, uh, this is the SCADA automation example. So here you can see I am using uh, Delta DI view SCADA demo project. So I mean this project is for demonstration only. So this is the Delta DI view plus I use Vashino for the programming the Arduino controller and this is Kaspersky EX server and Arduino. So all together I am presenting here. So as you can see I prepared here some segment of controlling. This is a normal star delta and Dior motor starter digital control and this is a PID temperature controller uh, which uh, providing the analog input outputs and uh, this is the I uh, controlling one VFD delta VFD from the SCADA uh, via Arduino and this is the exit button so uh, I show you my system first so you can see this is the VFD for delta okay and uh, here is the controller you can see i providing one two three four led for uh, controlling the motor to know how the motor control and i using uh, this uh, wireless mega uh, this is mega 2560 with a couple with uh, 8266 which is uh, providing here and this is the power supply okay now as you can see uh, first I start this uh, uh, start data controller so I click here you see my screen here I am creating so this uh, controller this is the uh, start delta blower motor starter this is a normal start delta starter and this is the main breaker and you can see the system here blinking because the system is online now and this is the switch power on of switch for the main breaker or main feeder anything and this is the DOL water pump motor starter so here I show you you can see here one segment for uh, DOL control here another segment for start delta I uh, hear the main breaker and this is the full scale okay first we will start this uh, switch uh, you're asking on or off I give on you see the power is on okay so now you can check I just put here start button and you see the start contactor is running for three second first five second and delta contactor was on and the motor is rotating so you can see here this is the main contactor and this is the delta contactor okay i will here i again stop it here i put stop stop you see okay again I start here okay I start here you see you see it will automatically change start to delta easy with uh, the timer okay now I start this uh, dual okay here one thing uh, as you can see this motor is rotating and this is the motor running hour the counter meter reading the hour how many hour this motor is running here it will reading here and storing in this uh, area okay okay now here I start this dual and as you can see the motor is on and it's rotating okay 
and uh, this running hour will automatically start calculating how much how many hour the motor is running you see, you see already started and here is the light this is this is for the dual motor it's already start okay now i show you another function here is the overload uh, as you know in a motor starter there is a overload circuit uh, always uh, calculating the motor maximum ampere rating if there is some problem and motor got overload so this lamp automatically start uh, for the testing we give here one test button i press just this one you see you see this is alarm on and motor was off okay this is for testing purpose only so you can stay test it from the screen but it will work itself when the motor is running practically so i will keep continue okay now here also the same thing you see if i press this one the motor will stop and alarm okay this is for testing purpose but it is work itself when the motor is on the place okay now again i start and you can see the star delta change over how it's done okay you see okay now we go for second segment which is temperature controller okay here the temperature controller okay now you can see i put it on here uh, heater is on and the indication here on system is online and you can see this uh, is the present temperature on the heater and this is the set temperature and this is the PID value PID value uh, is almost uh, 60% and uh, the heater almost running uh, 135 minute already run so it is the timing the timing recording here how many time how many hours the heater already on okay so this is the temperature you see and this is my setup of temperature here this is too much hot okay here the temperature okay now here one VFD operation okay as you see this screen this is a motor and uh, this is the frequency increasing decreasing and uh, here is the parameter the IGBT temperature presently 36.87 centigrade and the DC bus voltage is 299 or 300 something this is the main switch for start motor controlling vfd power on and this is the parameter he already i set here the frequency for 18 and you can see with my vfd also 18 okay now you can see i set here the frequency 20 you can see here the frequency also 20 here if i put 25 25 you see is 25 and the VUT here also same 25 okay so presently the frequency set and uh, I on the uh, control of VFD on you see the power is on now and uh, now I start uh, motor okay you see the motor start working and here the fan is rotating uh, <coughs> you can see the 650 rpm of the motor uh, this is the actually voltage applying on the motor and this is the current of the motor so here the motor is running 
and you can see the motor here this is the motor this is the RPM okay I increase okay. you see it will apply it You see, the motor RPM is changed, the voltage also changed, the temperature also changed, and DC bus voltage also changed, and the motor speed also changed. Here 30, you see here 30, and this is the complete scheme as you can see. This is the complete, uh, this VFD. This VFD, all parameter is on monitor here by using this controller. And this is the mud bus connection. This is the mud bus converter. And it's going to the VFD. You see here. So from here, I controlling this heater, this uh, motor, and this. Uh, VFD with motor as you see this is my complete scanner okay okay now I am trying to apply stop command for the motor you see the motor is stopped the motor is stopped now if I want to use start again just press here you see motor start if you want to stop stop okay again I saw you this is the motor control is still running here is already recorded the time this is 14 minute almost on and this is uh, 12 minute almost on and uh, this one is the uh, for the temperature as you know the temperature is still on and this is the heater running value, this is the set temperature, this is the process temperature and here the PID value, okay? And this is the PFD. Now we come to, come back to home screen. Okay, this is the home screen and uh, simple, I can go any screen and I can exit. You see? Yes. And this is the project I am developing here. I hope you like it. And this is the low cost CADA uh, which is providing by DI view from Delta. Anyone can use. I using uh, two, three device from a single monitor and control it. Thank you.